everyone um lone star fan of two six here it has been a while since i've done this and i will tell you the reason for why i just disappeared well as you know earlier this year my childhood dog becky she passed away of old age and that really like I took it really hard because I grew up with her like I'm 16 now and what hold on one two three one two weeks two weeks and three days I'll be 16 and I spent like I grew up with that dog since I was a baby (coughs) so she was in my life almost 16 years about 15 years about five months or something but and my sister grew up with her and my other sister kind of did and my brother kind of did so we all kind of grew up with her also if you're wondering what this back screen is it is jason todd aka red hood from the titans this is my husband i have decided he's my husband now so yeah um <clears throat> so that really impacted me um, I kept dreaming about her. She kept coming back to check on me. So, uh, we're actually getting a puppy next week. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're getting a puppy. Um, and another reason why I kind of died is because this year, like last week and the week before, I had to do my junior art, which is basically in Ireland. When you go to secondary school, you do first year, second year, third year, right? then you have exams at the start of the summer like literally you're off for about four or five days and then you're back to school and you have to wear your uniform and you do exams and I had eight exams so the first day I had English that was fine then the day after I had Irish and geography and then the Friday, Friday was brilliant, I had history, that was a lovely paper, and then I had maths, and that was horrible paper, I think I failed, (laughs) and um, then, you know, basically, blah, 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 that's what I kind of did, I had to kind of study for that, Um, so, um, sorry, you're probably wondering about the story of Loner, well, I haven't touched that in months, but I'm really running out of space, so I might have to cut that again and do the rest of it. So I might just go up to where I have it now and um, do um, a part three because it is. I have no space on my phone. Literally, I'll, I have I have games on my phone. I have apps on my phone that I kind of need to keep so yeah and I have I was went on a spree I was like where did all these internal files come from and I was deleting all them to try to save space I have 83% used and I don't even have Disney Plus on my phone help um also I've been also my friend gave me his PlayStation 4 because he was going to sell it anyway so I've been spending time playing games on that as well um so that's also why I kind of died. Um, but really, like, sorry, one second. But really, what made me disappear the most was the death of Becky. Because, like, you know, it, it just, when you, like, I had a really close bond with her. Like, if she was crying downstairs, she'd be whimpering, right? And nobody knew what she wanted. I was like, she can't get up. She probably wants water. And they were like, she doesn't want water. And I'd bring the bowl over to her and she would drink out of it. I had such a deep bond with her that I understood everything. Like, she could just look at me and I know what she'd want. Be Like, it was just, I was that close with her. And in the past, like, you, you guys know, I was bullied like really badly and I remember <clears throat> I'd come home crying and I'd sit on the ground and she'd nudge my arm over her and like cuddle into her 
and uh, she'd lean her full body weight against my chest and she'd give a little nuzzle as well. And um, <coughs> when I was done, I'd say, thank you, Becky, I love you. And she'd look at me as if to say, it's all going to be okay because I'm here and I love you. And she'd lick away where, she'd lick where my tear tracks would be. And she'd put her paw on my hand and she'd look at me as to say, it's all right, I'm here and I'm not going to leave you. I'm going to cry thinking about it, stop. <coughs> I'm not going to cry, I'm not going to cry, I'm not going to cry, okay? I'm not going to cry, making that bow right now, I'm not going to cry. So, um, we had a really deep bond with each other, like, it was... And it was crazy. Um, I loved her so much. And that was... <coughs> what is wrong with my throat today? <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, so that... That really, like... It's like a piece of my heart was taken. But um, I know she wouldn't want me to be upset over her. Like, it was grand for the first about two or three months. I still miss her every day, of course, but... I've kind of accepted her death and I've moved on and I'm like she wouldn't want me to be um crying over her and you know I'm looking at her picture up on my wall now and she's I miss her a lot but I know she wouldn't want me to be upset and I know she'd want me to continue on and she'd want me to live my life and do what I do what I'd like to do and not spend every minute missing her so um <clears throat> that's basically why I died um I don't know if I will come back I don't I don't really know because when I first started this channel it was all about the lion guard and then the lion guard ended and then I started animating and that that became the main focus and then I found obsessions with new shows but <laughs> none of you were you were all like where are you getting these shows from why do they matter to us we're Lion King people and I was like I know but in case you'd like to share my interest you were like no I was like okay so um I don't really know what's left for this channel. Um, I'm. It, it might still be me animating. I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. Do you know what I mean? So, if you have any suggestions, you're welcome to leave it down in the comments. If you say do like lying here or something, I'll be like, love. Lying here ended when I was twelve. I am sixteen, in two weeks. Like. I'm 16 in two weeks and three days. Like, love. What do you expect me to do? Like, what do you expect me to do? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no new episodes. There's no fan-made series anymore. They all just kind of, they all just died. The Night Pride, that was supposed to be happening. They had animation troops and everything. That died. What was the other one? I don't know what the other one was. There was supposed to be another one. That one died. The fan fictions have probably died. My ones. The ones I did when I was like 11 or 12. They were, they were shocking. I got better over time. But like they were just so insane. Like I'm actually getting better now. I'm doing like. I've done a Young Justice one now. Love Young Justice season one's best season. Wally West. I love him with my entire heart. I want him back. Spoilers. Sorry. Um. That one, like, people are loving that one because I have over 6,000 views of it on, on Archive of Our Own, 35 bookmarks, 22 comments. People don't comment that much. I'm like, man, please comment. 166 kudos. So, that's a lot. It has more than my Spider-Man one. Jeez. <laughs> it has more views than my Spider-Man one by 3,000. Oh, man. Man. Man, okay, did not expect that. But um basically, you know, those fan fictions were tragic. They were twelve year old me tragic when I just threw down anything that came to mind. I didn't think it through at all. I think these things through. <laughs> Show this young justice fan fiction 
It's called, uh, hold on, it is called, <laughs> it's called As Long As I'm Here I Won't Let Anyone Hurt You, Young Justice Season 1 fanfic, right? It started out as a dream, literally, I had a dream one night. <laughs> and it just kind of started with, you know, Batman being, oh, he was, he was very, he was very angry. And then Wally was like, dude, why is your adoptive dad angry? He's a to dig grave. And he was like, oh, no, he was fine this far. And then we found out. They were like, who was trying to kill him? It was like, Clayface, Poison Ivy, Joker, Harley Quinn. And there was someone else. There were five of them. I don't know who the fifth one is. And then they were like, trying to kill him. So then they had to kind of... They had to kind of, like, run all around the place trying to protect the child from being killed. Keep in mind, the child is 13. They were just... But I was just trying to be like, uh, team, Robin and I will, go, be, will be going away for a while. And they were like, what? Why? And then he showed them, and they were like, mm. and the villains were like, we want your child dead. It's very fun. No, it's not, because, you know, everyone's, everyone just gets traumatised. <laughs> That's the bane of my fanfics. They just get bane. Nice, Joe Bane, Joe Bane, you don't know Bane, he's a DC character, had to include that, sorry. Like, they all just get killed, they all just get, no, they don't get killed, they get traumatised. Like, see, that's what I did to Kyan in all my fanfiction, do you remember that? I use traumatise that poor child, relentlessly. I know I've done the same to Dick Grayson, but there's this person, worse than me, who are they? Nightwing underscore dc underscore 2112 that person is worse than i am no i'm being deadly serious i like i love like their their series of fan fictions but i swear to god like i have a trauma with death stroke and i'm not even like i'm not dick grayson but i have a trauma with with death stroke and i'm terrified of him <laughs> i'm terrified of him and i'm reading it Imagine the poor 13 year old child. <laughs> Very much worth the read if you're into DC. Very much worth the read. You're probably not. But sure, what can you do? Okay. That's enough of me rambling on. Basically, point is, I don't know what's in store for this channel. If you have any ideas, comment them down below. Um, <clears throat> It'll probably be just me getting the story of Loner done. And I don't know what will be in store then. But we'll see. Okay? So, um, that's why I disappeared. Um, the last post I made was February. A month after Becky died. And, uh, no more. So, um... I guess I'll see you when I have part two of the story of Lona done. And we'll see what happens from there. Okay. Uh, see you guys in the next video, whenever that is. Um, thanks for watching, I guess.